Hey, what's up everyone? Arctic here, and uh, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about RoboCraft, which is the game that you guys see on screen right now. Uh, it's a pretty fun free-to-play game from Steam. Uh, it released uh, not too long ago, but I actually think it was available for quite some time before they actually put it out on Steam. Now the basis behind this game is uh, having uh, building blocks, essentially, and creating your own vehicles and taking those vehicles into battle. Uh, it's a pretty bare bones game uh, in terms of you know the interactions that you have outside of just playing multiplayer. So um, from that aspect of it, it, there's not a whole lot of variation in what you can do. Uh, just I guess from, from my limited experience that I have playing it, I probably played about 50 or so, uh, maybe a little bit more than that matches. <clears throat> but uh, the process is pretty seamless. You have a set number of blocks that you can start off with. They give you like some beginner blocks. And then as you uh, level up or, or change tiers, uh, you unlock different blocks that have varying levels of strength and whatnot. Uh, hardware, which is like your ammo and different uh, materials that can either make you uh, fly uh, easier, like helium or, or aerodynamic wings. Uh, to things like hover blades, which will obviously uh, allow you to hover. Uh, this ve uh, vehicle that I currently have built right now is like a hovercraft. I didn't put any wheels on this one, but uh, if I wanted to have a land and air vehicle, that is possible. Uh, so, you know, what I really like about it is uh, just some of the dynamic types of vehicles that I've seen people build. Uh, you know, some stuff is really crazy and funny and uh, other things are very much so structured around like uh, uh, just dominating. So you see people with like super armor, basically like a big cube <laughs> just rolling around. Uh, but, you know, it's it's been a fun game to just pick up and play. Uh, it was surprisingly easy to get involved and, and start building some stuff and, and playing. I tried to build a a couple different variations of, of you know land and air ish vehicles I haven't built anything that really uh, flies uh, that is flies very high I built some hovercrafts uh, as you guys can see um, and I think one of my first videos I posted first or second video I posted uh, was a hovercraft of sorts uh, so basically you know to sum it up for you know people wondering about this game it's basically you know the the uh, cro like a cross between Minecraft and World of Tanks and that is just the honest truth I think I actually had someone say uh, you know since I mentioned World of Tanks they weren't really interested in it and I give World of Tanks a lot of slack but uh, there is obviously there's a market for people that like that type of game uh, this doesn't feel as campy uh, or slow uh, paced as World of Tanks does uh, just I think it's just because of the nature of the vehicles that people end up building so you know someone will build some monstrous uh, uh, or completely silly vehicle and they want to test it out so they're gonna go out in the open and, and fight and, and try to uh, tear people up uh, so it, it definitely has a, a, a pretty good ebb and flow uh, when you get into battle now I'm only in tier 2 I think there's 10 tiers in total uh, so I haven't seen some of the uh, ships that other people have but I think it'll definitely be interesting uh, I highly recommend that you at least try it out. Like I said, it's free to play. Um, there's no reason not to, you know, mess around with it for an hour or so. I think you guys would be pleasantly surprised. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Stay frosty.